How's it going guys? Welcome to reaction time. Today I got a super interesting video for you. What if we take a cartoon character animation and turn it into a real human? You guys are like, what are you talking about? Well, with the power of Photoshop, a guy named by Robson Lammy is one of the most talented out there to do this stuff. Now before we begin to make sure to go check out his channel and all of his work, we're only gonna look at a few here. Don't show him so much love. Now before we begin, um, Tall Fishman, welcome to reaction time. If you don't already know, who I am. Make sure to follow me on the socials. I'm super excited to see the results. You guys ready? We're gonna start with Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Oh, Scooby. Mm. Oh my god. That sounds like Homer Simpson's wife. Oh, Scoop. Oh, Scoop. Uh -uh. Oh, Scoop. What are we gonna do? Oh, god. That was so bad. Okay, I'm sorry. Here we go. The original drawing. And you just take a blank face. It's kind of like a template. And you just start conforming it. Make sure the angle is all right. The cheekbones, the eyes, okay, here we go. The mouth needs to fit perfectly. This is gonna be really creepy. Cartoons are not meant to look realistic. So everything can be exaggerated. Like your mouth can be huge. Like right now when I'm talking, it's really weird because it's not normal. Your nose can be huge. Your eyes can be small. He has a little bit of a chin hair right here. So that would need to be sorted out. Right, this is already creeping me out. I'm telling you, when I say this guy's the best at what he does, he truly is. That's why he needs all the recognition. Uh, I already know that this is gonna come out like really interesting and probably scare me a bit. Ooh, I love how he puts it together with all the little touches just to make sure it's perfect. You can honestly sell these, but I don't know who would want that in their room, just staring at them at night when they're sleeping. All right, nice. Okay, the eyes, the eyes is really what will define Shaggy. He has those little Eyes with uh, the bag underneath them. Oh, okay, it's already coming to life just by looking at that. Just blend it a bit, color match. Oh my God, that is creepy. The eyes are so prominent. Oh boy, the hair is super important. Oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. What if I was in a cartoon? Boom, you guys like E? This is so brilliantly done. If Shaggy was a realistic human being, this is exactly what he would look like. Okay, it's still not over though. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna ruin your childhood. I'm just saying when you see stuff like this. I uh, Where did they get that from? That looks exactly spot on Nice big boot cut pants. Okay. Okay guys and it's finally complete. Yeah Not creepy at all and he made his eyes animate. Okay. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. All right, guys, I partnered up with Old Spice once again in celebration of their 10 year anniversary with the original Old Spice ad featuring Isaiah Mustafa, the original Old Spice guy. And this time. Check out the dermatologist tested Old Spice Ultra Smooth Lina available at Walmart and smells fantastic. All the information is gonna be in the description, but I also made a little remake of the original Old Spice ad. Let's play it. Hello, internet. Look at me. I'm back to my video. Have you ever looked in the mirror and wished you were this guy? Yeah, that's the Old Spice guy. And he's- Hey, yo, Tom. Ah! Oh my God, you scared me. I just came in here to ask for some toilet paper, but you stink. Thanks to the transformational powers of the new dermatologist tested Old Spice Ultra Smooth lineup, your wish will now be granted. What does that mean? Hello again, Internet. Look at your calendar, now right back at me. After 10 years, Isaiah Mustafa, the original Old Spice guy, is back. Celebrate the 10 year anniversary by posting a remake of the original Old Spice app and see if you can do it best. The cool thing about this is Isaiah Mustafa has a son, Keith Powers, in the new Old Spice commercials. So celebrate the 10 year anniversary, guys, by recreating your own and see if you can remake the best one. I'll see you guys soon. Let's get right back into the video. Let's go. Next one is something dear to my heart. As a youngster, I always loved watching Pokemon. One of my role models was Ash from Pokemon. Now, what would Ash look like if he was right here, my homie, side by side? Here's the original. Okay, let's do it. Okay, conform to his face. Oh, wow. He has a very, very small tucked chin. Very large eyes. 
in an interesting shape. Okay. Holy crap, that's terrible. Not the Photoshop work, just the fact that it's gonna look like this. An eyeball that's actually vertical. Eyeball's natural shapes are horizontal, okay. See, when he puts that outlining over it, it looks totally fine, but when it's not there, it's a scary faceless little thing. No way. It's like a little baby character. The smallest little nose. If only I could have that nose. What would I look like with that nose? Am I good? What do we got next? We got some eyebrows. You gotta shape them, make them sharp. Somewhat angry. Oh my goodness. Sorry, this will definitely give you nightmares. Just a disclosure here, guys. Don't watch this if you think it's gonna ruin your childhood. All right, now it's time for the hair. Cool, cool. I wonder what the hat's gonna look like too. Now the hat was being constructed. Look at this. So they just got a regular hat, template. Everything needs to match. Nice, nice, fill it in. And then the top little button. There you go, perfect. Not creepy at all. I'm, I'm actually shaking in my grave as we speak. This is one of the creepiest one I've seen so far. It's a baby slash woman slash teenager slash man morphed together with very, very, very large eyeballs. Okay, finally the eyes are in place. It's a little better. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Wow, surprisingly, this is not that bad. Ah! <laughs> what do you guys think? This is hilarious. Oh my goodness. We got a funnier one. Remember Phineas and Ferb, the main character Phineas, the one that actually talks. Let's see what he would look like. We need a little side profile, everybody. Now these are gonna be extreme morphing to try to get that into a triangle type of head figure. Okay, of course, add that really large, interesting nose, guys. Who can compete better, him or me? Who has a bigger nose? Comment down below. Also, guys, maybe he can actually transform me into a cartoon character. Or maybe he can just make me look more beautiful. That would help a lot. Guys, make sure to request it from him so I can also see that video. I really want to do it. Please. That would be super cool. Guys, if we hit 100,000 likes, I will make sure it happens. Challenge accepted. Let's get 100,000 likes on this video. That's a like goal. So make sure to smash that like button. And also, oh, nariz, when, oh my god. Hola. Guys, do you see that guy right there? That's Alfredo. A little savage hedgehog. Ooh, it'd be great if we could make him into a human. Make him into a real human form. What do you guys think? Also, guys, you see these guys right here. This is twin brothers, and there's so many of them that they start to really bother me. I really need you guys to help me and get your own timelessbrand.com. If you guys are new to the channel, those are little stuffed hedgehogs. They think they're savage. Not. Guys, so they're back in stock like I always say in every single video now before it's too late Make sure to go buy your own. It's gonna be a limited time only type it on Google timelessbrand.com and also check out this new design We got this lavender super cool design. Let me turn around for you. Boom uh. And of course we got that one right there with so many other colors and designs again It's gonna be limited time. I don't want to have this out more than 30 days. So make sure to do it now We're gonna get right back into the video. Just a little quick announcement. Let's go. Okay. Let's see Phineas Wow, this nose is really gonna be interesting. Oh my goodness, it looks like a pizza slice that someone took a bite out of on the bottom left. <laughs> oh my god, nice, that mouth really is scary, if anything. Great. Oh boy. All right, it doesn't matter though, because I think it's gonna come out pretty well. Let's see it. All right, and then the bottom teeth. Interesting thing is gonna be the eyeball. Did he just take an egg? He literally just took an egg and turned that into the eyeball. I'm totally kidding, guys. It's just a pure eyeball. You just put it on there. Okay. Now, where's the pupils? That's also going to be interesting. Right now, it looks in uh, ridiculous. This one is going to be the scariest, in my opinion, because it looks least human out of all of them. I'm not talking about the Photoshop work. I'm talking about the actual characteristics, like the triangle-shaped head, the, the nose that takes one-third of the face, the small mouth, and the giant eyeballs. Oh wow, that is a massive eyeball. It kind of looks like an alien. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where's the hair? It's like a little toupee. It kind of looks like someone just sliced part of somebody's head into a triangle and just made it that way. And then the bottom of the head is actually a little pineapple tree. And the final result, drum roll please. Ow! Oh my god! I'm not watching cartoons anymore. What's worse than that? Squidward. Oh, this one's gonna be interesting. Let's go, guys. Here we go. A nice old guy. We got him right here. I mean, I know Squidward is not that old, but I'm just saying. The the guy he used as his template, the face, is a little wrinkly, you know. It's it's exactly what you need. Grumpy, wrinkly, and a squidward. Now the most important part is the nose. Let's see how he does that nose. Wow. 
That nostril. You can fit a whole wallet in there. You can actually store your belongings. This one might look a little scary, but it's actually, in my opinion, gonna look the most realistic. Wow, that is good work right there. Good work for me to never sleep again peacefully at night. <laughs> Great work. No, this guy is so talented. I'm so impressed. I'm actually. Al menos alguien tiene talento. Great. You know what's funny? People always roast me. But then I'm like, okay, Alfredo, where's your talent? Huh? Mejor I don't see you guys. Wow, that one hurt. Okay. Wow, the texture even looks a little too realistic and scary. Okay, here we go. Eyeball time. Eyeballs are going to be really important for this one. All right, who agrees with me that Squidward looks like an alien? Leave a like if you agree. Also, comment down below which one's your favorite so far. We only got one more after this. And I'm so ready for a part two already. But we're running out of time here. Okay, the eyes look pretty impressive. It's so weird how realistic this looks now. I can envision Squidward as a human being, even though he's a cartoon character. The crazy thing about this, all this is done in the time lapse. Oh my God. Go, yo, he got that eggplant nose. You know, you can't mess with that. Now he's gonna put the final touches there to make everything fit properly. Uh, can you push his nose back up? I feel like he can't breathe properly. But that's one thing with Squidward, it's that nose is prominent. It's out there, it's in your face, and it might smack you when he turns around. Oh my god. Final look. Wow, what a man! No, that's a man. This is amazing. I've never seen this work to this extent. And finally, y'all, we got the boy, Homer Simpson. Here we go. The orange epitome of America. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna make this nice, simple, clean, fast. Everything that Homer is not, actually. That upper area is massive. What if I had that? Oh my god. Beautiful. That nose. He has a nose that literally looks like a small little dill pickle. Oh, and it kind of works. That's a lot of nose hair, though. Whoa! So, the thing is with Homer Simpson is he does look kind of like an ape. Who agrees? Like, that really prominent mouth. Oh, wow, what a beautiful... Look at Homer. Those eyeballs are gonna be massive. All right, let's see how they turn out. Squidward was actually one of my favorites as of now, but this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> the ears are so small, so tiny. And they're like all the way at the bottom. Actually, I think the ears replaced the jaw right here. <laughs> so like, there is no jaw anymore. Okay, you gotta give him, yes. Give him that oomph right there. He never goes anywhere without that. Oh, and the tape. Of course. I can't wait to see the eyeballs. What would they look like? It needs to be filled in properly. That is so brilliant. Where's the donut? There has to be a donut somewhere. There it is. I knew they were going to replace it. I wonder where he finds all these photos and syndicates all these photos to help match everything. Okay, the eyeballs are in. A little creepy, but I think it worked. You can really see all the pores there. Wow. Eyebrows fill it in, but you always need to add some drool, right? Homer is always hungry. Final. Holy crap! Don't get close to me. Wow, he gave him an eyelash to make him look a little more fabulous. It matches the donuts. The eyeballs look like donuts, and his drool is actually kind of more like slobber. Unbelievable, guys. Robson Lammy. So many other videos, guys. Check him out in the description. Hope you enjoyed. And please request him to do Alfredo in human form. And me. Cartoonized version, maybe. Or just fix me up a little bit. Maybe fix my hairline. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Follow me on the socials. It's all gonna be right here in my second channel. Free time. It's a group channel where I will start posting again on there. So make sure to do it. And get this lavender limited edition design. Because it's super fire. Timelessbrand.com. And pair it with a little twin brother. Alfredo. Fredo's twin brother. Type it on Google, timelessbrand.com. I'll see you guys soon. Till next time, have a great one. Love you guys and peace.